Okay, so have you ever been tired of trying to manually rig your characters in Blender? Well, if you are, I've got a solution for you. And that solution is one word, Adobe Mixamo. Well, now that I think of it, it's actually two words, but that's kind of irrelevant, so let's just get into the video. Okay, so right here, I've got a Mandalorian model that I downloaded from Sketchfab. So I'm going to credit the author in, in the description. So this is almost exactly what you would get if you download the model, but I have removed the cape, as capes do not format well in Mixamo. So once you've edited your model to your satisfaction, remove the cape, now whatever you want, uh, just save your file, and then we're going to export it as an FBX. And we're going to name this Mando T pose.fbx and let's just put it on our desktop because we can dump things there and nobody cares. Okay, so we've exported our FBX now, save our file again, and now let's hop into Chrome. Okay, so once you've got Mixamo up, you're going to hit Upload Character. Now, ignore the Mandalorian right there. I was playing around earlier today. So we're just going to select the character file, go to our desktop where we dumped everything, and now we're going to find our file. And I think it was Mando Tipos right here. So now we can hit Open. Now, one thing you might want to note is that when you upload this, you cannot, and I repeat, cannot have a skeleton. You can only have the mesh. So you must delete your skeleton before uploading to Mixamo, or it will tell you that it's unable to map to the existing skeleton. But if you've done that and you've uploaded it, you should see a screen like this. So let's hit next and start to uh, put some guidelines in here. So these ma markers, we're going to put them on our mesh to tell Mixamo where everything is. So firstly, let's drag the chin. And you can see up here in that corner, when I drag it, we have a close-up view. So I'm going to say the chin is around here. Let's drag the wrists onto where the wrists should be, so around here. Our, let's drag our elbows right here. And you can notice that whenever I drag them somewhere, it starts, the other one moves as well. Now, if your character is slightly irregular, you can uncheck this use symmetry so you can drag them individually. But mine isn't, so I'm just going to keep that checked. Let's move to the knees now. And let's do the groin finally. All right, so now that, that this is done, you might, if your character has no fingers, two fingers, or three fingers, you might want to select one of those. But if your character is a normal person like this, you can just select standard skeleton 65. And now let's hit next. And this is where the magic happens. Now Mixamo is automatically rigging our file. So it'll take up to two minutes, but in my experience, it's always been under a minute or so. But now you gotta wait. Alright, so if you see now, our character has loaded and they've put an animation on him. And we can see we've got working fingers, we've got turner, we've got turning and stuff. This is like incredible. So now let's hit next. And we're just going to proceed with this character. And now it's where the fun comes. So you see this entire library of animations. And you can choose anyone. So I'm going to choose Salsa Dancing because I think a Mandalorian doing the Salsa is going to be hilarious. So we're going to do that. So I'm just going to click on one of the animations. And when, once you click on it, it's going to take a little bit to load. But then it automatically rigs that to your character, which is crazy. So this Salsa Dancing is really cool. But we could also use a gun animation. So you're going to search up there. And then... Mm, we got like something like this. We've got so many. So if I, I'm gonna go back and I'm just gonna do like um I, I'm I'm gonna do the a break dance. So if you search, you can see that we get all of these. Now these characters are just examples, and generally the blue characters are inherently male in their dancing. Uh, but the female characters also work pretty well sometimes. So something like this would work. So I'm going to go back to Salsa. This is just an example because, in my opinion, Salsa is really hilarious. 
So now that you've got that, you can firstly edit these. So if you change your hands down, you can see that uh, once it loads, you can see that our hands are just not moving much, like the fingers. And overdrive is a really fun thing to play around with because if we turn it down, it's basically almost like the speed of the animation. Like, see, now he's going pretty slow and it's pretty and it's nice. So I'm gonna keep it at around 16. Actually, I'm gonna turn it up slightly, to maybe 31. Yeah, that's, that, that's good. Now I'm gonna download our animation. So right here, you're gonna click on download. So take note of this, we're running at 30 frames per second, so you might wanna set Blender to play your animation at 30 frames per second. And also, we're downloading with skin. If we were to download without skin, we would only get the armature, which is good in some cases, but since we want our entire thing, let's just download it with the skin. So now if we hit download, it's going to prepare our download, and then we're going to get our file in an FBX format. So if you downloaded just the armature, it would just be a few kilobytes, but it's 3.2 MB because uh, we are downloading with our mesh. So let's just pause this and go back into Blender. So now we can hit File, Import, and FBX, because it exports in FBX format. So we can find Salsa Dancing, select number two, and hit Import. Okay, I can already sense something cool happening. So let's just delete our first armature because he's boring, just stand still, we don't need him. And now if we play our animation, we have a salsa dancing Mandalorian. And now this is definitely gonna be the picture on the video because come on, it's hilarious, you gotta admit. So that's it for the video. Uh, I hope you guys um, enjoyed watching, and if it did help you out, uh, please uh, like and subscribe, because it's uh, really going to help me in my creative journey with Blender and on YouTube. So, thank you, see you in the next one.